guys welcome back to my channel this is my tea time review and for those unfamiliar with my channel I tried to do a little bit of everything but right now I've been focusing on our homeschooling curriculum and we are a secular homeschooling family and I know there's a lot of new homeschoolers out there and don't worry there are plenty of us out here to that and answer a lot of your questions if you have them but today I'm going to be talking about some of the new curriculum that we are adding to our 20 to 21 <laughs> school year. Um, my, I wanted to change something up because we're pretty much using the exact same resources that we used for our school year last year. So, but these are a couple of things I have completely changed just to keep things a little exciting for my oldest who's in second grade. So first I'm gonna start by talking about our geography courses here. And I think I hear my youngest waking up, so I may have to pause this video. Um, and we are gonna be talking about our 50 states. Normally, we do world geography, but this year, to, just to change things up a bit, we are, we are talking about the USA geography. And we will not be talking about history. This will be strictly just geography. We're gonna continue on with our ancient civilization, history course by Curiosity Chronicles. This particular, most of this, I got from the Crafty Craft, the Crafty Classroom, and that is a non secular homeschool resource and we are a secular homeschool however I have not found anything in this that is non-secular everything is secular <laughs> but if that is a problem for you I just want to be upfront this is a non-secular resource so the first this is actually a bundle so you actually get three separate curriculum in this bundle and I will show you what those three separate curriculum look like they come in alphabetical order I have rearranged them and mesh the two, mesh the three curriculums together to get this one. So the first thing you get in just the 50 state curriculum is this USA map. Then this one, this map I got from Teacher Pay Teachers, as well as this one. And this one is also from Teacher Pay Teachers. And we're starting with the Northeast region, and these are all the states there. And the, then I go in alphabetical order from there. You can also do by when the state was added to the union. So this is one of the three bundles. It is just the state summary. You get, here's the USA map, the outline of the state, the flag, the abbreviation, state number, nickname, state bird, state flower, and then a fact that the child can write. Now my daughter is currently working on Connecticut but has not finished it. Then the next page is the state maze, and this is the second book of the curriculum. And the third one is the state bird. I'm really excited about this. I think that's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm trying to expand on that a little bit, but we are also doing a new scheduling this year, a block system to try to make sure we get our lessons in and don't spend too much time like on math or reading or something. Okay, so there are two spines that are recommended for this if you get all three of the courses and this is the first one and it's a really beautiful illustrated book on the 50 states and this will pretty much give you all the information the only information we have had to look up ourselves was the state abbreviation it was not listed here but everything else is listed here and it does a beautiful job of giving you some facts that the child can choose from for their facts, as well as covering the birds, the flowers, and any other interesting information. And the state flags are all listed in the back. But I find this book to be very beautiful. If you, I think it does a really great job of giving a nice depiction of the state. It does a great job in showing all the rivers, the lakes, the mountains. I mean, it. I really love this book. It's a really great resource. And I only got this for a few dollars used. So it's been around for a while. You can probably definitely pick up a used one. And then the other spine goes with the bird book. The bird, <laughs> the bird curriculum. And it's this book. And I've seen other people use it for um, if they're doing any type of bird unit. This is just kind of a fun book on birds. So this is the one we're working on right now. She'll be doing this one this week. And how I plan to do this is on Monday, we will go over 
this book and she will start filling this out then on Tuesday she will actually finish coloring this if she hasn't and also do the regions map as well color that in while I am reading a story about that state to her now for this particular state the story I will be reading is the Harriet Beecher Stowe book now she was an abolitionist who was Harriet Beecher Stowe and she was an abolitionist and again we're not going to be talking about history per se but I do want to include important people from the states or at least important events that happened just to kind of give her a little bit more information I will also be pulling stories from Little Leaders Bold Women in History book as well as Asian Americans who inspire us and I also have the two Rebel Girl volumes and we'll be including those as well. The reason I'm doing this is another homeschooler and I can't remember who it was when I do I will link it below mention this is a great way to normalize people of various race, ethnicities, um, sexual orientation, disabilities, just more inclusive way to make it, to normalize it. If you're, it's not just, well, we are only going to talk about, you know, black people when it comes to slavery or Jim Crow laws. No, there's a, a lot of amazing black leaders out there that have, that are astronauts, that are pilots, you know, they're not just abolitionists, they're not just civil rights leaders. Not to saying that those aren't great, but they're, they're, the, the history is more diverse than that, and that's what really what we want to talk about. But there's not just black history. There's Asian American history. There's Latino American history. So we want to try to bring all that and normalize it. So we're actually going to be focusing on stories about people in minorities. So that's what we will do on Tuesday. Then on Wednesday, we will continue talking about, if we haven't finished those stories up, continue talking about that and then on we're taking we won't do geography on Thursday and then on Friday we will be talking about the birds I will be of course reading the story United Tweets of America but we will also be bringing in other books oh and this is one I forgot to talk about as well can't forget about the first people we're going I'm going to read this over the entire time we are doing the Northeast I'm going to be talking about this book Back to the birds. Here are just a few of the bird books I was able to get from the local library that we will try to go over. At least do one a week. Okay, so it's a really simple course just to kind of wet her feet, I guess you could say, on USA Geography without overdoing it, I hope. So we'll see how it goes. I'm very excited about it. The bird sections are very beautiful, as you can see. The maps are super fun. She's really excited about doing the maps. So I thought this was just a great, simple geography course. The other thing we are adding this year, and this, is, if you are at all familiar with Secular Homeschooling Mom, you have probably heard of the, I forget exactly what the, her name of her channel is, but the Bel Air Homeschool. This is her reading journal. I watched her video on this, and I really feel like, even though we love moving beyond the page, there are still some holes that I would like to fill, and this I really think is going to fill those holes. So this is my daughter's reading journal that we got from the Homeschool Bel Air, I think. I can't remember exactly, but I will link it below. These are a couple of things we added to it, but this is where it really began. So we actually did the stone soup today. Let's see if I have that here. Yep. This is a book that this is actually my book from when I was a kid. So we did the stone soup today and she started working on this. So she has done the first page, which you do the title, the author's name, the illustrator, what the book was about, the cover of the book. You rate the book, what, why did you rate it that, then fiction, nonfiction, and how did you know. She was supposed to write two things, she only did one, but that's okay. And then you will talk about all about the characters, the name of the main character, how would you describe the main character, list any special traits, and then my favorite part of the story, and then you can draw or write it, which I think is really good. Sometimes we, we do so much writing, it's nice to have an opportunity to draw or write. And then we have the setting of the story was, I knew this because it looks 
like this, and then the sequence beginning, then and then, and now I know. And then here's an opportunity if there's any words that she doesn't know, she can ask me, and we can write it here and go over the definition. What would you change or add to the story? Draw and write it. Then you can do go over nouns, pronouns, adjectives, cause and effect. And then it starts all over again. I did some in color, some in black and white. Again, this is something that you can download and print off. We are giving this a try. I don't know how we'll do. I don't know what length of story is going to work best for this, so it is definitely a little bit of a we're playing around with. I'm bringing in some books we've never really talked in any of our lessons. This is one. This is one that I remember reading in school, so I was like, we'll start with that one. And we'll, I'll, I read it to her today. I'll read it to her again tomorrow so that she can finish up some of her work. But we, I plan on for her to work on this every day of the week. And if I need to reread it, I will. And then I'm also going to um, pull out some of the books I bought for Torchlight, such as this one, this one, and then also books that we have gotten, gotten from the Dolly Parton um, Imaginarium Library that you can get for free. So that's going to be one. And then we'll get some books from the library. That's the plan for right now. These are also, between these two... Um, new courses my daughter is extremely excited about both it's something new that's why i added them this year this one right here we're not I'm, we may not do every page every week we may just do a couple of pages this is more just making honing in her ability to do basically a book report and i think it's a really great precursor to a book report this is just getting her a decent foundation on at least when she hears the name of a state she will know she may not know exactly where it is but at least she will know the name of the state. But hopefully she'll also kind of get a general idea of where the states are. Some states she does know already, and but the most she does not. So this is a really great, I think, simple course, especially if you have a lot of other things going on. All right, guys, I hope everyone out there is doing well. And if you're new to homeschooling, don't be too scared. There are a lot of resources out there. There's a lot of you can print yourself, a lot you can buy. And just open and go there's just a lot of options for you guys I normally do not use binders I actually don't like using binders but my go-to homeschool printing company is about two months backlogged right now so I couldn't get them binded like I want it took me some time to figure out which course which um you geography course I want to do and this was literally I just added this in last week I, I saw her video and decided to add that in Okay, guys, if you have any questions, please leave them below. I try to make videos whenever I get an opportunity. Don't get an opportunity a whole lot these days with the situation. But thanks for sticking with me, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.